Hey guys, AK47 Master here, back with another episode of Phoenix Friday's Attorney. On this episode, we are going to be searching for Gordy, because uh, our only lead is the southern country bumpkin, Lotta Heart, and she wants us to prove that Gordy does or does not exist. And oh my god, there's a steel samurai, like, blimp right there, or, or balloon. Oh, what's that? The, the steel samurai, Nick? The steel samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Keonce's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here, it would be like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow, that's real impressive. She could, she could find those for you? <clears throat> well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she's got them for free. Right. <laughs> Alright. I love how his cheeks are like, what is, what do you call those? Like when your cheeks are red, rosy, whatever. Yo, Nick, what happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on through. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No, really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. He transferred school pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Harry knows about it though. Hmm, the big, scam the big samurai, that's obviously the elephant in the room here. Uh, hey Larry, what was that big thing up there before? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why is he sweating when he says that? Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, the, the compressor was busted. The compressor? Yeah, it's like that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you inflated it by yourself. <laughs> I just imagined that. <laughs> Him orally inflating it. Oh gosh. Uh, show him the Gordy article. That's the guy that's selling my dogs faster than I could cook him. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think someone probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth truth's out. Until the truth is out? Huh, it's getting more suspicious, more and more suspicious. Alright. I'm a mere seller of dogs. <laughs> um, huh. What can I show him? What the heck could I show him? The bullet? I have no idea. Nope, doesn't work. Alright, let's talk to him. Nope, no other options. What the heck? Uh, let's see, let's check the woods, I guess. Yep, there's some there's something we gotta do here. So, let's see what it is. Hey y'all! Well, y'all find anything about Gord yet? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. Uh I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, no you don't, no sneezing. Watch you! Click 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 click. I told y'all, no sneezing! See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. It trigger on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry's nice, but it ain't, it what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. <laughs> Sob. There goes my wallet. <laughs> what happened? I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. To find a serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about the case anymore. Huh? Why is she so happy when she says that? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it in for dirt on Gordy. Hmm. What could we possibly find this dirt on Gordy? What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? 
After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. And it's that shooting. Was it a good one? You bet. A Yufu. Oh, this again. A Yufu? <laughs> anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student. Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for now. Right. <laughs> um, anything we could show her? I doubt it. I think she's the one who gave us this article anyways. Um, uh, you know, I was wondering. Yeah? What if you get a picture of Gordy? And it turns out like this enlargement did. Y'all crazy! A blurry picture like this doesn't make a hit story. I need a picture that screams I am Gordy. Hear me roar. I can't turn something like this into the paper. What kind of fool y'all think I am? Well, the kind of fool that would think turn a blurry picture in as evidence in a murder trial. <laughs> Not to mention claiming she saw something she didn't see. Ah. Uh, he should have said that. I don't care. He should have kept that in his mind. Felix should have blurred that out and just let it all out. Uh. Let's examine the samurai, the steel samurai. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's huge. I guess it's good advertising. I don't know. Hmm. Something about the steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for you? Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Huh. Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These sam steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <laughs> Uh, let's check the garbage. Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Ah, but the trash can is still empty. Can't get over the steel samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea. What have I done? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. <coughs> Go to the bolt rental. Well, there's something else here. What could we possibly could possibly be here? It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Huh. Is there really nothing we could do here? Whatever. What? Let's let's leave. Uh, and I. Nah. This is one of the points in which I am stuck. I do not remember what we have to do here. I guess let's head off to criminal affairs. And looks like there is something we could do here. All right. Nice. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait. You didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edwards' case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that's it. <laughs> Alright, the investigation. I should ask Gordon. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not really... Uh, we have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. The guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edward shot him. And Edward never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow. Poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit it. Doesn't look good, pal. Hmm, what about Gordy? Say Detective Gumshoot, do you know Gordy? The monster down at the Gordon Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your mind? Whoa! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, uh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. Oh, gosh. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try telling him sooner, or next time. Er, sorry. Wait a minute, how could she appear in his monologue? What the heck? I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Huh. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? Aid our search for Gordy? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for fighting evidence. Really? 
You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapons? Huh. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, Missile. The Missile? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! Woof. Here he is. Oh my god, he is so cute! Look, Nick, cute doggy. A cute dog. And this will help us how? <laughs> Woof! Next secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here. <laughs> Here, this is my personal favorite. My personal pole. Oh, pause, that doesn't sound dirty at all. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole, whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never knew, never know till you try, pal. <laughs> Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. <laughs> Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. <laughs> well, which will it be? Uh... I can't make up my mind, Nick. They're all, they all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. <laughs> oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. And the one you want to bother with well, the one you want to borrow is the metal detector. Can we borrow that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Borrowed metal detector from Mr. Detective Gumshoe. Alright, we're going to be using this thing on the next episode, guys, so if you enjoy, please leave a like and comment, and subscribe if you're new. I make it 47 Master, and I'm signing out.